This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2007 Ford F350 uh, Super Duty Super Cab. That's a four-door extra cab. Uh, it's a single rear wheel. It's obviously, it's got a utility bed. I got the, some of the doors open because it takes too long to do it with one hand, <laughs> which is how I would be doing it. Uh, it's uh, 179,150 miles. We purchased directly from a construction company uh, in Montana, Helena, Montana, believe it or not. Basically, it got hailed on. And that is uh, their reason for getting rid of it. And uh, I don't understand why a work truck with hail damage matters. Uh, we had to replace the windshield. Um, we gave it a oil and filter, front and rear brake pads. Uh, that's about it. We did our uh, big inspection that we do, our two hour inspection, and came up with nothing other than that, than the obvious. Um, Anyhow, uh, this is a nice truck. It's uh, got this big bumper on the front of it. My brother, who is also an attorney and my business partner, wants me to tell people this in the video. That will obviously affect the performance of the airbag. If you want the airbags to work, take it off and put a regular uh, bumper on it. Otherwise, you're on your own. And I think you'd have to hit something pretty damn hard to get the airbags to come off with that on it. Um, Anyway, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to show you what's going on. Um, I do have a Carfax that I'm going to show you in the video here in a minute just so you can see it. There's nothing there really, but I try to provide as much information in these videos as I can. The tires are outstanding. Um, they liked it enough to give it a nice set of tires right before it got hit by hail. And the hail really, it's, you know, I mean, gosh, it's a work truck, so I don't know why they cared. But, and it's a construction company. But you can see it it's not brutal I mean I guess if you wanted to make it look better you could just buy a hood but you know even then it's still it's got a little dent here I don't know you don't do anything with it you just make it into a work truck I'm, I'm not really understanding the whole deal there usually it's probably a combination of that it uh, had miles on it they're about to go buy a whole new fleet and uh, it's time for it to go that's generally what happens um, on these things It's kind of nice though. It's an XLT, which means it's got windows and locks. Scuff there. It's got windows and locks, but it's also got a vinyl floor, which is great. It's got a, there's your manual. It's got a little remote for the uh, radio, which is a CD player here, which I'll fire up for you in a second. But it looks great on the inside. Kind of made some of these little homemade drawers. I would take these locks off. I don't know. It's kind of an the looking thing, but that's what's there. Okay. And you've got, you push this button in to lift these lids up, and that locks down. The tires are there. So, that's what you have there. You have a big rear bumper. If you get rear end, you're going to destroy the car that hits you. Then you got this. This goes here. This rolls, this slides back like this. Or it comes forward like that. And you go like that. And you go like that. Boom. So that's what that looks like. So you can lock everything up. These things slide out by the way. Push these things in. Put a lock in there to keep this from opening also. That's the same case, same on both sides. The pistons in this thing aren't good, so it falls down. So I didn't want to deal with that in this video. But again, push this to open that. And the handles look brand new. Usually those handles, these these handles right here. Uh, get destroyed by all the uh, rough handling of them by actual working people. All right, let's see what we got going on here. All right, let me show you real quick what we got here. No accident damage reported. Carfax says that they would adjust uh, the value of this thing up to $740 from retail book. It's hard to get a retail book when you have a really nice... Uh, uh, utility box like this one it kind of it's kind of hard to tell you that uh correctly 
Anyway. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That's in North New Mexico. And then it's Colorado. North Dakota. North Dakota. And now it's living up there. Blah, blah, blah. North Dakota. Eh, it's boring. Anyway, uh, that's that. It, there's the construction company title that, that, that we got. That was a North Dakota title. Um, that's that. Nothing fancy there. Now this is our title. I'm going to put this stuff in the glove box. Okay. And I'm going to fire this thing up. We're going to look under the hood. We're going to be looking for uh, Ford stamps on both uh, sides of the core support. And on uh, uh, both fenders. 179,271 miles. I just got back from a little ride up by I-10 for some fuel. Uh, I was about to start the video and I realized I was gonna run out of fuel, which would have been not good. So my guys took it down, so it's pretty warm now from uh, driving. First thing we do is we check low box. That's a beautiful thing. Very rare, even with well-maintained 6.0s to have that little glow by. There's all, almost none. That's not, actually, I did see none. That's very good. There's your Ford stamp. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp here. Stickers where they belong. Should be another one right there. And another one right there. That just tells you that uh, that's all original. That the stuff is where it belongs. We have to test this window switch. You know what? Let's look at the roof. Not that anyone's going to care about that either, but I want everyone to know what they're buying. And there's your hail damage on the roof. That's what your bed looks like back there. Let's that. All right. The purpose of these videos is to make sure that people know what they're buying so that there's no surprises here. We don't like surprises. The right person, the right person will buy this vehicle if we uh, announce it correctly and we show people what's happening. Driver window, passenger window, box work fine. It's a manual seat on this side. We did repair this insert. This is a new piece right here. It had a tear. All this stuff belonged to something else. I have no idea what they were doing there. But uh, we're not even going to worry about that stuff. I have no idea. It probably, probably had some sort of light package on it or some crap. But it's not there anymore. And we didn't remove it, so who knows what was there. All right, there's your center console. We did put a new windshield on it, and we're waiting for the button. Actually, there the button is. They did, they just put the windshield on it, or the mirror on it. 10 minutes ago, we didn't have one. That's my crack staff. They noticed when they went to the gas station, they didn't have one. So that's a brand new one, when we had the original in the, in the center console. That's good. He can play the honky-tonk like anything I would say you know, that has no batteries or it doesn't work, the remote. Just assume it doesn't work so we don't get screamed at over a stupid remote. Let's see. Tow haul on, on and off. Alright, I'm going to put it into neutral. The air is blowing ice cold, by the way. It's very nice in here. I'm gonna put it in neutral. I'm gonna tilt the wheel down a little bit. We're gonna to go to four low. There's four low. Put 
put it in drive. Let's see if we can put it. Dude, there we go. Now we're there. Now we're in four low. And that's that's definitely granny gear. That's four low and drive. Now we're in reverse. That's four low for sure. All right, now we're gonna go to four high. Now we're in four high and drive. And in reverse. There, okay. Now we're going to turn it back to two wheel drive and we're gonna go for a ride. All right. If you come to Tucson and drive at home, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Dock fees $250, tax is 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So, if your state tax rate is 2%, you'll pay 4%. If it's 3%, you'll pay 5%. Simply add 2 to your state tax rate and then add $250 and you'll know what you're paying if you're going to drive at home. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Uh, there's no dock fees or taxes or anything. Uh, you just pay us by wire. We will notarize the title, sign it off uh, to your company's name or your personal name, put the address on it, notarize it, sign it off, scan it into your online file. You'll be able to see what it looks like before the truck even arrives there by shipper. Um, then we uh, mail it to you, we scan in the envelope, we mail it in, and uh, you'll get the title, and when the truck shows up to you, you take it to motor vehicles and pay whatever fees or whatever is due in your state. Um, so if you ship, I'll just pay the agreed upon price. That's it. Um, deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we receive your deposit, we have a deal. Until then, uh, we uh, have it for sale. So if we have an agreed upon price, please make sure to get your deposit in. Don't make all the back and forth and, you know, the research for nothing. Uh, it's not a video game. We're uh, actually a business, and we have a couple of people who apparently spend their time in their jammies at their mom's house <laughs> playing on the computer. It's very bizarre. Anyway, uh, very serious vehicle. We're serious. We show you everything we know. Uh, please uh, follow through, okay? Um, warranty. I say this on every vehicle. If you go to any vehicle on our website, you'll see the same speech at about the 12 minute mark. The speech goes as follows. Ford gave it X amount of miles and X amount of years for a warranty. If they knew that they could have given it a 250,000 mile, uh, 300,000 or so, or you know, a huge warranty, three, 300,000 miles, say 15 years, they would have. And they would have sold this truck for 20 or 30,000 dollars more, and they would have sold them all the same day, okay? They didn't know what was going to happen to it after X amount of miles or X amount of years, so they bailed on the warranty. They didn't know what would happen, and they built it. We don't either, okay? We don't know more than they know. Uh, we know an awful lot. We are very much experts on 6.0s. However, we really honestly don't know if the day you get this thing, it's going to need an injector. It's not going to need an injector. It might. Um, it's got 179,272 miles right now. Um, it has no blow-by, it runs great, shifts fine, um, steers straight, even though the steering wheel is off-center, probably needs an alignment. Probably when they put the tires on, they never aligned it. Um, but we don't know. We honestly don't know. So if you need a sure thing, there's only one way to do this. A sure thing is a brand new vehicle on a warranty, a factory warranty. You built this truck, four-wheel drive, XLT, Super Cab, 2016, with a box, 50,000, plus or minus a couple thousand, somewhere in that area, and you'll be fine on the powertrain for five and a hundred. Uh, bumper to bumper, you'll be fine for a three and 36. So, you know, when it's all said and done, you're still gonna owe a fortune, and you're gonna be out of warranty, and something's gonna break. Everything breaks. So if you're delusional and you think you're buying a brand new truck, go buy somebody else's truck, okay? Please. We, uh, we have great customers who know what they're buying and understand diesel and blah, blah, blah. Uh, read our ad. We have a little EGR special if you want to deal with that problem or potential problem before it happens. Uh, $1,900 and we solved that for you. Uh, if this doesn't need it, but if you want to do it, we can do it for you, all right? Thank you very much.